Well, in this Sketchpad lab, which is 9.4 rotations, we're going to demonstrate the coordinate rule in two different positions. We see the tabs on the bottom. There's two pages of this. Then we're going to, um, well, we're going to perform a 90 degree rotation of this triangle using matrices, a 180 of the same triangle, and a 270 as well. So let's get to it. Back to page one. Okay, we just want to explore these. And I'm going to start with a point P in the first quadrant. And I want you to visualize this arm. Two units this way in the horizontal and five units this way. I'm going to call it an arm and you'll see why. That represents the X and the Y movement to get to point P. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees now. So go ahead, you can grab that and rotate it 90 degrees. When I say 90, I mean counterclockwise to the left because that's the way math is. Now you can visualize this is five units to the left of, let's say, the y-axis and, and it's two units up from the x. So I know that's going to be negative five. Just click right on that. And two. Let's keep this going. Rotate it now. Well, from here, that's a 180 right there. You can see now it's negative 2 in the horizontal direction and down 5. So, negative 2, negative 5. And I'll rotate it 90 degrees more. That would complete my 270. I can see 5 in the positive x direction. And I'm down 2 in the fourth quadrant. And you'll notice this corresponds to our three rules here. A, B, 2, 5 maps to negative 5, 2. Or I should say opposite of 5, 2. 2, 5 for 180, negative 2, negative 5. And 2, 5 for 270, 5, negative 2. Let's do one more example. I'm doing this one just because, well, because it's a little bit different. Q. It's negative 9, negative 4. So let's put that in there. Negative 9. Go ahead and type that in there. Negative 4. Let's show the arm. I rotate 90 degrees here. And you see it's, well, it's going to be 4 in the x direction. And it's going to be negative 9, or 9 units down from the origin. That makes sense. That's going to be my 180. Looks like the point 94. You're getting the hang of it. 94. Let's keep it going. 270. Well, that would be back 4 or negative 4. And 9 in the positive. Now, I asked you to do this extra point or the second point. See, in 360, come back to where I started from. Because I, I want to dispel the notion that negative sign means negative. Look at the rule, for example, here. AB maps to negative BA. Well, negative 9, negative 4 maps to 4. That's a positive 4, comma negative 9. I want you to read that AB maps to the opposite of B, comma A. In this case, the opposite of a negative is a positive. Okay, enough of that. Matrix, uh, matrix time. Here we go. We've got three of these, and we're going to get right to them. We have the coordinate rule down here. We could do that, but yeah, we're going to go. We're just going to reinforce our matrix skills. I put these here in case you need them as guidelines there. The 0 times the 4, the negative 1 times the 2, and that's going to be, of course, negative 2. And over here, Second, first row, second column. Zero times three, negative one times seven. Well, that's going to be negative seven. Hey, I get, I'm getting the hang of this. And finally, the last one. Zero times nine, negative one times five. That's going to be negative five. Just click on these and all you see and you can change the numbers. Um, let's go back to first, second row, first column. That looks like four. Second row, second column. 1 times 3, 0 times 7. That's going to be 3. And finally, 1 times 9, 
and 0 times 5, that's going to be 9. Now we could plot these points, but I don't want you to do that. Let's save time. Double click on your axis of rotation. You've been doing this all year. Select your points, or um, sweep and select. You need points and segments. Transform. I'm going to rotate. The default's 90. Take it. While it's still selected, go to display, change the color to red. Let's be consistent with our textbook. Now, sketchpad, oh, that's terrible. I'm going to change that. Sketchpad is very, very smart. It will tell us. Now let's go to Arial and let's go 36. That looks better. Sketchpad will tell us which point is translated. Ah, the A to A prime, B to B prime, C to C prime. If you want to confirm these, let's go to my graph. I could show grid. I might want to spread the grid so they're at, let's say, um, units of unity here. I could see, for example, A is at 4, 2, and I can see A prime, negative 2, 4. By the same token, I can see C over here at 9, 5, and over here I can see negative 5 up 9. Very nice. Confirms my rotation rule right there. Okay, next one. All right, we'll speed it up a little bit. You guys are getting tired of me. So, of course, that's going to be negative 4. Next one, negative 3 plus 0, negative 3. Hmm, pretty handy. Negative 9 plus 0, negative 9. Easy. Uh, the next row, 0 times 4, and then I've got my negative 1 times 2, negative 2. Second row, second column, negative 7. Remember, row times column, row times column, 0 times 9, negative 1 times 5, negative 5. Excellent. Now, we'll do this one differently, just for fun. We're going to plot the coordinates. I'm going to plot C prime. You see it right there? Negative 9, negative 5. So, plot the points. Negative 9, tab, negative 5. Plot, done. Don't label it though. We're going to make an animation. So you're going to click. You're going to make the path for the animation first. In this order, must be in this order. Origin, C, and your plotted point for C prime. Construct arc on circle. If arc on circle doesn't light up, you screw it up because it'll only work if C and this other point here are on the same circle. Now, I can construct a point on the arc while it's still highlighted, or I could have just snapped a point to it. I'm going to label this point, not G, C prime. This is where it gets interesting. Now, you could hide this, but I'm going to leave this, I'm going to hide this endpoint. I'm going to leave mine dashed. So we can see it as a path. I want to see this rotation. And here we go. Mark the angle. C, origin, C prime. Transform, mark angle. Ah, very good. Let's double click on the center. Make sure, uh, origin that is. Make sure that is confirmed to be the center of rotation. Notice I'm sweeping and selecting the parts of the triangle exclusive of the C. Doesn't matter if you select it, but you don't need it. C prime's already here. Transform, rotate. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's highlighted. Wait, wait for it. Color red. Nice. Now, label your other points, and they will, of course, come up A prime and B prime. When it's rotated down here, you'll have your complete rotation. And if you want to have some fun, let's build an animation button. Edit, action, animate. I want it to go forward, because that's how I want to see it rotate. 
and once only, and let's make it go some arbitrary speed, I'll say four. Now, see now I can move it manually, but I can also hit my animate button now. Very nice. Um, now if, if you still want to, we, we can also show the grid and we can confirm the location, negative four, negative two for A prime. Oh, I should move out. Let me expand my grid here, right there. Negative three, negative seven for B prime. Negative nine, negative five. Well, we plotted that one. So that's beautiful. You can do that. Um, personally, I like the I like the grid off. It's cleaner, but um, that will help you cite things there. And now you've got one more page to do, and you can do the 270. You're going to do this one on your own, and you can just make a static, or you can make a or you can make an animation in your rotation. But um, I talked you through this one and this one, and as long as I think you've got the idea. So get all, get all these done and send them in, drop them in the Dropbox, and we'll call it a lab. Well done, Links.